Hi, welcome to my ISO Builder. This is version 18.11.2. It officially says, and I want to record in this video already how to change numbers. It's not that difficult, it's so easy. It's just a file and a number. But I'd like also to launch an, um, well, an, a request. You see this wallpaper? It's an awesome looking wallpaper, and it's almost, almost the A from Arc Linux. So, if there are creative minds in our little community who say, hey, but I know how to do this, and I can even do it better, please be my guest. Um, try to make something beautiful with our Arc Linux logo. That's that. Now, this little file that uh, says we are a particular version is in the ETC LSB release. But none of that is actually the topic of our video not yet so 18.12.7 is the latest one that's it you can change this number anytime and you'll be just fine there you go you have now the latest version 18.12.7 if you did have the updates and the scale and the CB and the PKSYUA, the video I just created, then you are in 18.12.7, all right? Now, there is a particular file at this point in time that I created that's in Control H in the dot bin. That's a new folder we have here, stay rolling, 18.12. It's The video is about phase six. There are already a few articles around on ArcoLinuxISO.com and they're mainly about the package build because it's quite essential if you want to make your own uh, Arch Linux spin-off or distribution. The thing is, and that's what I want to get into some technical details, so if you're not interested at all, then you stop right here. If we go to, let's start there, if we go to the net, okay, Firefox, close all the rest. Yes, please. If you go to the net, then this is the Arco Linux D ISO or Arco Linux ISO, right? And this information here, not, not, not even this, this here inside this thing is everything that's there to build your future ISO, phase six. What we've done with the file that you saw here, and let's go now to the, my, my, my own folders, which is, which is just a push to the net, right? So these folders here, everything that's, that's, um, that I need to build an ISO is in this folder, and it's going to be in ETC. And what we've done in, the, in this instance, going from 18.11 to 18.12, is making sure that we can get a grip on files of the ISO because I can add here um, extra folders like I don't know user and then make share and then add wallpapers create folder wallpapers put wallpapers in there that's how we did it well a year and a half ago in Arch Labs yeah when we started but then you can't manage them anything you write on this iso in this way you cannot change it later with sudo pacman and, and and remove it or or install it or anything update anything it's it's not done it's not possible because it is in this folder anything that's in here needs to be in there because otherwise we can't build the iso that's the reason for it to be there right but if it's can be packaged if it can we be managed in a package we should and that's the last thing we've done now last move um, is this little script that's there so let's take it take a look at it in detail this is open box i can just drag it I need to press super four and then it's half of my screen super seven and it's a separate keyboard separate numbering keypad that's how it functions so fast right so opening up a file manager but this time to my dot bin the stay rolling and what did we do then so open 
with atom it's good yeah why not takes a little bit longer but it opens and in this way let's move this guy over here let's do it like this what we've done is anything that's going this these things are the structure on your ISO so everybody has an ETC file in your file system you have an ETC this is your file manager right you have an ETC you have a root and you have user these this is structure of your root this is sometimes what they call router also the root directory etc but normally they refer to this to this slash so everything that's on here is going to go on the ISO but not everything needs to go there and something needs some of the things need to be deleted after we build an ISO I'm not getting into that but basically anything that we want to manage later remove change add a line then we need to package it and this is exact exactly what you should do when you are making an ISO later on that's why I say maybe this is a good time to make a video about this idea this concept if you are thinking about making an isolator then you need to know that putting a file on here in the arch ISO you never can touch it again you never can remove it again all you have to ask the users hey go open that and change that it's solved okay but wouldn't it be nicer if you can just send an update with the command update here in Arch Linux pseudo pacman minus s y y u or something like that and everything gets updated right so that's a better approach so this is the last move took a look at uh, all the files that's in here and these things mod probe disable ev bug another file in mod probe so etc had in the previous version now oh, that's interesting to know to show you this is Arch Linux ISO today, okay? And when you go to some, look at some commits, and let's go prior to all the changes, and go here, and this situation at this point in time is in four days ago, last commit, that's maybe 18, 12.5, I might even go a little bit further in time. So you go back in time, Seven days ago, seven days ago. Older. Seven days ago. Fifteen days ago. Here we're at version 18.12.1. I wasn't thinking about anything like that at the time. So the structure at that point in time was different. Okay. That's better to explain. So. <clears throat> mod probe. At that point in time, my Arch ISO looked like this. It had a folder called Mod Probe, and it had a file. At this point in time, no, not the one, that one. At this point in time, Mod Probe is gone. So we have took a look at the files we had, and we said, okay, what files can we move to a package? remove from the arch iso power is then if it's on a package pacman can manage it we can delete it we can remove it we can edit it we can just do it with an update rather than saying to people hey open up mod probe go to disable ev bug and change and add blacklist blah 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 that's the power of a package that's the power of pacman your package manager so that's one thing i wanted to get out there the knowledge already out there it's phase six i know um but it's an opportunity at this point in time to tell you to get at least amount of files on your arch iso and as much amount of files in a package so this little script that's running here i had to make it and, and that's why i'm sharing it also in the dot bin it's very easy but like basically it says if there is a file like that i don't know in what phase you are, how much you have followed our Arch Linux. So if it is there, then you um, remove it, right? And it goes on like that. If this is if this is 
Let's take a look at another one. So we're, this side here is back in time, you know, 18, 12, 11. So you can always get a uh, look at what used to be. All right, systemctl.d. There it is. It's going to be removed. It is removed. It's no longer here. It's no longer Arch ISO. That's the point. And the same applies to all the rest. An icon and all that, those things. You never know that I need to change the icon or want to change the icon. I just update the package and done. So all these things have been created. And the last thing is then a package. And we've made enough, enough videos about how to create a package. But this Arclinic System Config Kit is somewhere. Well, let's take on the look at the net first. Because you're not on my computer. But it's already here. System config updated three days ago. So ETC is here. Mod probe is here. The three guys are here. And the other one we've uh, seen was this one. And all the rest is there as well. So the package is clearly um, cut, cut and copy, cut and paste, you know, from one place to another place. But the advantage is this is now a package. And that's the thing, uh, we need to install it from now on. We need to update it, and that's this little script that's going to run. If you run this thing, finally it says delete, delete, delete. Why should we delete it? If we don't delete it, then we get conflicts because the file is already there. And Pac-Man says, hey, you want to you wanna add something? That's maybe interesting, and I don't think I can show you that. I can show you that. If you give me a moment. All right. A quick show of the facts. What will happen if you do not run that script that we have provided? I've removed Arclinic system config git from my system. Then I've taken just one of them. I've taken a look at the no beep, this one. And I touched, which means is a command to make a file, sudo touch etc modprobe.d nobeep.conf so i've created an exact file at the exact exact place with the exact name and what happens then if you want to install this package so arrow up array and just replace an r with an s and then you are not removing but installing and we say yes to the system and the system says fail to commit transaction conflicting files and it says it exists already. My point being, and I wanted to show you the error, that the file exists already in the system. So Pac-Man doesn't know it's there. He sees it, something is there, but he doesn't even know what package is ruling it, what, what package is giving it. Because we wrote it, we made it ourselves. It was on the Arch ISO. And that's the thing you'll get if you do not run the script. The script first cleans out all the conflicts. These things is a conflict actually because the file exists and Pacman wants to write to it and he can't. So in order to fix this, you need to remove it. And that's why this line, sudo remove. Now, without this line, it, well, let's copy paste them. Without this line, it will not work. Control shift V. Done. Installing it again, and everything is fine. No blockage, there is no conflict, because the file is not there, and it's just going to write it. It doesn't know any better. So that's why uh, it's important that you try, if you make an Arch ISO in the future, to get as, as less uh, packages, packages on the Arch ISO and as much in a package, and that's the last and newest package called Arch Linux, the system configuration. Okay. Well, I hope it was enlightful or I'd say insightful um, for some of you. Um, it's not for beginners in Linux making an ISO, but it can be a challenge, can be interesting as well, can be a learning experience. It is for me. And um, it's a video that's going on the arco linux ISO.com for phase six. All right. Enjoy.